Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Salido, and today I want to talk about how to set up the Facebook Business Manager so you can start running Facebook ads not from your personal account, but from a business ads manager account, which all of you should be doing. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I've been getting a lot of people that have just been getting stumped on trying to figure out like how to add their pages in there, how to create new ad accounts, um, how to add people in there, how to add partners in there, how to get access to their pixels. Um, and they just keep running into obstacles because they, they're getting it confused between what a personal ad account is and then what a business manager account is. So again, if you're running Facebook ads, you really should not be running any sort of ads from your personal ad account. So what a personal ad account is, is basically when you're logged into Facebook, so let me just type facebook.com, you can see right here, this is my news feed, but if I click over here to the right in this drop down box, um, I've got business manager accounts, and then down here is manage ads, and that would be my personal ad account, okay? So um, very different, and I think that confuses a lot of people, business manager accounts are very different than an ad account. An ad account is just a Facebook ad account, all right? A business manager account, you can assign people to it, you can have additional ad accounts in a business manager, you can, um, you can add multiple pages into the business manager that you want to add, run ads from. There's a lot of flexibility with it, all right? So, if you do not have a business manager account, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do, you've gotta to go to business.facebook.com. I typed it up here in the URL, and you've gotta go through the process of setting up your first business manager account. Now, if you're gonna set that up, what you need to have is you've gotta have some sort of business page or fan page. They used to be called fan pages. Some people are calling them business pages. This is a page where somebody visits your business on Facebook and they click like. It's not your personal page where they have to add you as a friend. So if you're calling it a business page or if you're calling it a fan page, you have to have one of those in order for you to set up a business manager account. So you've got to tie that fan page, business page, to the business manager. Now, does that mean you could never use your business page in another business manager account? No, I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. So if you've already gotten it set up, the next thing that you're going to do is most likely you will see your business manager accounts over here. Now we run an agency, so I have several of them. But if I click the see more button, it's gonna actually take me to the business manager. And then I'm just gonna go into our business manager account right here. And this is basically what it looks like, okay? So again, business.facebook.com forward slash home forward slash accounts. In fact, if I just, just type that, forward slash accounts, it's gonna pull up all of my business managers and then I just click on the one that I want to access. So this is the one that I wanna access that we're going to be working in. Now, here's where a lot of people start to get confused. They come over to the right here and they see all of these drop downs and they think, wait, wait, why is, you know, why is there a personal ad account here? And then what are all these other ones? All these other ones are business manager accounts. The personal ad account will say personal ad account. Just forget about it. Forget about personal ad accounts moving forward, all right? There's a lot of things that you don't get when it comes to using a business manager account. There are a lot of advantages to it, okay? So what you need to do is over on the left, actually click on business manager. And when you click on all tools, you'll see there's something called business settings. You have to go into that, all right? So go into the business manager's settings. And most likely, if you've just set this up, a lot of this is going to be empty, all right? So the very first thing that you want to do is you want to click on people onto the left here, and you want to click add. And you want to add in yourself if you're not in there, or let's say we have a business partner. So let me just go ahead and, oops, and add in. And, and you don't have to use a Facebook email here, .com, all right? I'm going to add Michelle, let's see. It would help if I type the right address. So Michelle private email at gmail.com and I click that and I can click next. All right. Now it's going to ask me to assign Michelle assets. Now you may not see this yet if you have not added assets to your business manager. So let me just show you how to do that. So basically after you have made sure you're added in there, go ahead and click on pages. All right. All these pages are in my business manager right now. So to do that, you've got to click on add, and then you can add a page. So if you're an admin of a page, you should be able to type that in there, 
click on it. So I'm gonna click on My Vegan Dreams and then I'm gonna click Add the Page. Well, it's already in here, so I, that's not gonna work, obviously. But that's how you add the page and you'll see it over here on the left. But what you won't see is anybody here. You've got to add the people that you've added here into your business manager onto that page. So Alpha 7 Photography, add people. I would come in here and say, okay, Bill, and then I would give him the permissions he needs. So let's just say I want him to manage the page, view earning insights, manage jobs. I wanna give him full control, then I would assign it like this. And now you can see Bill is assigned to this page. So now he can run ads. All right, now if I wanna take him out of here, I click this and I click confirm and he's out, all right? The next thing you have to do is you have to come over to ad accounts. Now again, if you have a brand new business manager, you most likely do not have ad accounts in here and you cannot pull in your personal ad account. I get that question all the time. So what you have to do is go over here and click add and you're gonna click add an account. And then this is where if for some reason you have an ad account you wanna use and it's in a different business manager, you can grab that ID and add it here, all right? So the ID would be, so for example, Alpha 7 Photography is an ad account. Don't get that confused with the page because I'm over here on the left and it says add. The actual ID of that ad account is right here. So I would copy that if we were in another business manager and then I could say click, add account, I would paste it here. And then, oops, we don't want all that. There we go, and I could click add an account and it would show up in here, okay, in this section here. Same thing again though. You have to click on the add account that you wanna give people access to and you come over here and you click add people. I wanna give it to Bill. I'm gonna ha have him just manage the entire ad account. I'm gonna assign him. Now he has access to the Alpha 7 Photography ad account, all right? So let me just click kick him out of there. Now, if you don't have an ad account at all, then you've got to come down here and you've got to create a new ad account and here's where you'll just name it. So just name it something like um, this is the Alpha 7 Photography ad account. All right, and then click next. Basically, this account be used for my business. This is my business manager's name, create. And once that's created, I can add people to it, all right? So I'm gonna add myself to it, click in. And you're not automatically added to it, so I think that confuses people too, and assign. So now, if I look at the Alpha 7 Photography Ad Account, which is right here, I've added myself to this. So now what I can do, because I'm added to this, I can open this up in the Ad Manager, and now I can run ads. And notice, I'm in the Alpha 7 Photography Ad Account. Now if you notice, when you were looking in my business manager, you saw a bunch of ad accounts. Here they all are, okay? Because I, as a person, have access to these. I was assigned to these. So like Alpha 7, I was assigned to it. This engagement one, I'm assigned to it. Um, this one, I'm assigned to it. So is Bill, so is Megan, all right? So that's how to do the ad account. So again, you have options. Add an ad account, that's pulling it from a different business manager. Request access, so this is maybe you're requesting it as an agency, and let's just say I need to go request an ad account for one of our clients because it's in their business manager that I don't own. So I would use this option, and again, it's the same thing, you get their ad account ID, and you confirm it. All right, so that's what you have to do there. The other thing is, is you need to make sure that your Instagram is over here to the left. So you can click add and you'll log into your Instagram and it will be added into your, into your business manager. Same thing though, like here's mine. And then um, this is actually a partner ID. So let's just go over here. So let's go here. We can assign partners. I can click on it and I'll show you where to get a partner ID in a moment if anybody asks you that, that's different than people but that's where we can add partners in, okay? So add assets, add accounts, and then I can basically say, I wanna tie this Instagram account to, you know, the Alpha 7 ad account, and I click add, all right? That's how that works there. Everything else um, on the left here, these are your pixels you'll have to set up. That's just gonna be another training. I think the basic thing here is, is you've gotta add people in here, then you've got to assign them assets. So another way you can do it is once you add, let's just say I've added Megan in here, 
I can add assets if I've added all those on the left. So pages, I can assign Megan this page, click manage page, save changes. Um, ad accounts, I can assign her all of these ad accounts or maybe I want to assign her just one. Click on manage ad account, save. Catalogs, if you guys have um, e-commerce stores and you have a catalog in your business manager, you can assign catalogs, all right? So that's how you can do it from there. So the first thing that you wanna do, there's two ways of going about this. You either open up the business manager, you set it up, you add yourself in, then you add in the pages, then you create the ad accounts, and then you go back to your name right here and you assign the assets or you do it at this level here. You add people here. Um, and again, you know, these are all of our ad accounts in the business manager. So if I wanted to do, um, you know, run ads in the three day live event one, I would open the ads manager right here and I could start running ads. So the other thing is, is, um, like we are an agency. So, um, oftentimes we'll just tell people add our agency in. And so what they'll do is we'll, we'll click add and you're going to give a partner access to your assets and you click on this, and then they would grab our partner ID, which is actually found down here in our business info. This is where we grab our partner ID, which is up here, and we give that to people. And then that way they can just add us in as a partner, then instead of a person, they add us in as a partner, and then they can go ahead and start adding any kind of assets that they wanna share with us as an agency. Um, same thing on pages as an agency, you can go to pages, you can assign partners, all right? And they're gonna ask for that business ID again, which I just showed you, um, ad accounts, you know, that's for people, and then Instagram accounts, partners, assign a partner, you can add the ID. So that's basically it. One other thing that I wanna show you that I think people get confused on is they've created additional business manager accounts under different pages. So like I have this Entrepreneur Insider Guide Business Manager, all right, which again, it's just me in here. So if I wanna give access to Bill or to Megan, I would need to add them in here, all right? And then they would have to go accept it. And once they're in here, I would have to see, this doesn't even have any ad accounts. So you guys are gonna be seeing this. So I'd have to click add and then I'd have to create a new ad account. And then that would be showing right here once I add that, and then I could assign the people that are already in this business manager to that ad account. Pages, same thing. I just only have one page in here, but let's just say I wanna add another page. I could come in here, type in the URL of the page we're admins of, and add it in there. All right, so don't get confused on that, that a business manager kind of holds all your assets. So um, again, we have some separate ones. We have a vegan one here. All right, and then, you know, we have some of our clients ones also. So I hope that makes sense and uh, sheds a little bit of light on this and makes it a little bit clearer for you guys. Um, if you like this video, be sure to like it, leave a comment, share it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And um, I'll see you in the next training video. Bye-bye.